devoted to inpatient pain management and palliative care at Kaiser Permanente. Through application of research, she developed a pain management model for this team that is both economical and successful. Erin is completing her Master of Science in Nursing degree with an advanced practice specialty in acute care. She will continue working as an instructor in the registered nursing program at Citrus College, as well as working as a nurse practitioner for an internal medicine physician in Pasadena. The title of Erin's speech is Living, Living the Legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, Erin Sackett. pleased to be representing the advanced practice group. I can't even tell you what an honor it is. And I thank everyone for coming today to celebrate graduation. I know it may seem like just a way to get you up as early as possible on a Saturday, but in actuality, graduation means so many things. It's a culmination of our efforts. It's a time to show gratitude, to reflect on the events, the memories, and the bonds that we've made during this time. And it's a rite of passage that marks the beginning of our next phase while ensuring that we don't ever forget the past. But graduation at the UCLA School of Nursing is unique from any other graduation. We're carrying on a legacy of students that came before us. We began as a cohort that had minimum grades and minimum requirements and hopefully a love of nursing. It got us into the door, but that's not really the qualities that make up an advanced practice nurse. You see, unfortunately, life doesn't stop when you enter nursing school. We've had many tragedies, deaths, illness, the death of Dean Cowan. But with every loss, we've had an equal rally to overcome the insurmountable obstacles. And with each struggle, the character of not only the individual, but the class and the program was strengthened, and we left a permanent legacy behind. To become an advanced practice nurse takes fortitude and determination. There's new experience, new knowledge, new understanding, and new understanding of the word fatigue. And at the very end, after all of your hard work, one more test of your sanity called comps. <laughs> so how is it done? How do you face everything and get through? You put one foot in front of the other. You look forward to those who have come before you that are reaching back and always remember to reach a hand back to those that follow. So today we celebrate efforts that none of us could have possibly fathomed, shout children, and the fact that we would probably do it again if we had to. We thank all of you, faculty, family, and friends, that were there for the journey, knowing that we could do it when our confidence faltered. We thank each other for sharing in an experience unique unto this group. Crying together, laughing together, studying together, keeping each other on track. But we thank ourselves for making it through just one more quarter, just one more month, just one more week to finish our sojourn. Finally, we revel in this time of reminiscence, knowing that we share in the common bond of every past and future graduate of the UCLA School of Nursing. The gifts we have garnered during our time here at UCLA will stay with us throughout our careers as, we, as the imprint we left will remain indelibly etched in the walls that make up the School of Nursing. This school has provided our home over the last year and hopefully our bond will carry us through the years to come. Thank you all very much. Now for our doctoral candidates. The student selected by her classmates to speak for the Doctor of Philosophy degree candidates is Rebecca Lee Cross.